Praise mighty Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you and keep you. Welcome to the 14th day of our fasting in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Praise mighty Jesus. Today, we are praying for economy, our economy and our, and our businesses. In the book of Psalms 107, verse 21, it says, Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men, and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. They that go down to the sea in ships and that do business in the great waters, see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. And in the book of Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 29, says, See thou a man diligent in his business, he shall dine before the kings, he shall not stand before mean men. We are praying for our economy. Can you just say, Father, thank you for the economy of our nations. Thank you for the economy of our nation. We appreciate you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the economy of our nations. Father, your word says in Psalm 106 and verse 1, say, Praise ye the Lord. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for it is good, for his mercy endured forever. We have come to thank you for the economy of our nations. We thank you, everlasting Father for the privilege of being a partaker of your kingdom economy. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being a partaker of your kingdom economy. Ah, Father, we thank you, Lord. This is a great privilege. This is a great privilege. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, your word says in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, 4 and 5, For every creature of God is good. And nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Father, we thank you for being a partaker of your kingdom economy. Daddy, we also thank you for being in control of the economy and the businesses of our nation. You are in control of the economy and the businesses of our nations. We thank everlasting Father in the mighty name of Jesus for being in control in the name of Jesus Christ. First Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 8. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Father, we hail you, we honor you. Father, for being in control of the economy and our businesses in our nations. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father will call upon your name, thanking you again for the economy of your church that is standing, for the economy of your church that is standing. We appreciate you, Father, that the economy of your church is standing. We bless you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we, are not, we have not been stranded. It's because of your grace. It's because of your love. Oh, Lord, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, our Heavenly Father, deliver us from all forms of evil and unrighteousness in business life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, deliver us from every form of unrighteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver us from every form of unrighteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus, your word says in the book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 35, You shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. In meat yard, in weight, or in measure, just balances, just weight, just effort, and just him shall ye have. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Therefore, ye shall observe all my statutes and all my judgments, and do them. I am the Lord. Every form of unrighteousness is a sin, including the one in our businesses. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, deliver us from all evil and unrighteousness in our business life. Deliver us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every form of, un of unrighteousness in our business world. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, help the economy and businesses in our nations to be done in righteousness. 
Heavenly Father, help the businesses in our nations to be done in righteousness. O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 34. Righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is a reproach to people. Father, let our businesses be run in righteousness in our nation. In the name of Jesus, we pray, O oh Lord God Almighty, let our business, let them be run in righteousness. At every nook and cranny of our nations, we pray, in the mighty name of Jesus, blessed be the name of the Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. In the book of 1 Kings, 1 Kings chapter 17 and verse 15, it says, He that justified the wicked, and he that condemned the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. We are going to pray. Everlasting Father, help me to put you first in my business life. Help me to put you first in my business life. Help me to put you first in my business life. Help me to put you first in my business life. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me wisdom to trust you with all my heart, never to lean on my own understanding. The Bible says, trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Heavenly Father will pray, give me wisdom to trust you with all my heart, never to lean on my own understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, in my business pursuit, grant me grace to trust you, Lord, and not on my own understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, I pray, never allow me to be greedy in my business. Help me to always pay my fourth fruit tight and offering. Father, deliver me from the spirit of greed. Deliver me, O Lord, from the spirit of greed. Even in my business, the tithe, the offering, the first fruit, that I pay them accordingly. Everlasting Father, I will not be a slave to money. I will not be a slave to money. Ah, many have prayed and have shouted before you, saying, if you can just help me, I will do my due. And they got there, they forgot about God. They for it is very easy to pay 10 naira when you have 100 as gain. It's very easy to pay a thousand when you have ten thousand. How about when your tithe is a million? How about when your tithe is in billions? Ah, everlasting father, especially when you have a business proposal coming your way and you need the money to, to really run it. And some of us are going to borrow tithe from God and go and run, run, run that business. Man, man, man. Ah, father, I pray. I cannot trust myself. My trust is in your holy name. Heavenly Father, grant me grace. Heavenly Father, grant me grace. Heavenly Father, grant me grace that I will not be greedy. Ah, that I will not be greedy. Help me, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that I will not be greedy. In the mighty name of Jesus, everlasting Father, grant me faith that can banish fear of failure. Grant me grace that will banish fear of failure in my business. In the name of Jesus. Father, the faith that will banish fear, the faith that will banish fear, Father, grant unto me in my businesses. In the mighty name of Jesus, grant me that, Father, that faith. Oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, your word says in James 2.26, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. The kind of faith that will banish fear, Faith that will make me to walk. Faith, faith that, will, that, 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 that it will enable me to put my intellect, my information to work. Release unto me, Father, I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Grant me great attitude to move forward. In the name of Jesus. Attitude to move forward. Attitude to move forward. That I will be onward ever. Upward ever, forward ever, in the name of Jesus, grant me that grace, grant me that grace, O Lord, grant me that grace, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, it does not matter what the economy of my nation says, make way for me. Ah, Make way for me, Abba Father, make way for me. It does not matter what the economy of my nation is saying, 
Make way for me, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 43 and verse 19, Behold, that we do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and, wild, and, I mean, and rivers in the desert. Abba, Father, it does not matter what the economy of the nation is saying. Make way for me. Make way for me, that way maker. Make way for me, thou way maker. Make way for me, thou way maker. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, give me strength to pray every day for the success of my business. Grant me grace to pray every day for the so I will not be lazy in my kneeling before thee, O Lord. Every day for the success of my business, it is grace. Thou God of ability, grant me that grace. Grant me that grace that I pray into existence, into manifestation, the success of my business. In the mighty name of Jesus, your word says in the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5 and verse 17, it says, pray without ceasing. Father, I want to pray without ceasing, aligning myself with your word. Grant me this grace in Jesus' mighty name. Father, do not let my business become a distraction to my heavenly goal. Hmm, hmm. Father, my business will not be a distractor to my heavenly goal. My business will not, will not in any form be a distractor. I will not be distracted by either the successes or the challenges. My heavenly goal is in focus. Father, my heavenly goal is in focus. Father, help me that my business will not be a distraction, will not be a distraction in the mighty name of Jesus. Take all the glory, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, as your wind is blowing, please release unto me every idea I need to advance in my business. Father, as your wind is blowing, let your wind blow unto me that idea that will advance my business, oh Lord. Grant me that idea. Grant me that idea that I advance my business, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Heavenly Father, we will honor you. Thank you for your wind of favor blowing our way. Thank you, Father, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. For yours, Lord, is kingdom and power and glory now and forever. In Jesus' most exalted name, we have prayed. Amen. Be blessed and stay blessed. Bye-bye.